Hi guys, in this video, we'll see how to set up Raspberry Pi and operate it remotely via VNC Viewer and Putty. Here are the components required for setting up the Raspberry Pi. We'll now install the required files and download the Raspbian OS ISO file onto our PC. Now first let's install Putty from its official website. Once we have installed Putty, now let's install the VNC Viewer. Note that we have to download only the real VNC application since it is already pre-installed in the Raspbian OS. Now let's download the Raspberry Pi Imager from its official website. So now let's install the Raspbian OS into our SD card. First let's take the SD card reader and insert our SD card. Now we'll insert the SD card reader into the USB port of the laptop and first format the card just to remove any unwanted files. Now open the Raspberry Pi Imager and choose the Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. There are also other OS's for different purposes as you can see in the list. Once we select the operating system, select the card and then click on write. It will take a while for the installation to complete depending on network speed. Once the installation is complete, you will be noticing a message like this. Now safely remove the SD card reader from its USB port and again insert it back into the USB port. You will notice that a drive named boot is created. Open this drive. Now create a text file named ssh and remove the .txt extension. This is used to enable the SSH in the Raspberry Pi OS. Now remove the SD card and insert the SD card in the SD card slot of the Raspberry Pi. Now connect the Ethernet cable to your PC and power up the Raspberry Pi. Now you will notice the lights on the Ethernet port blinking and also the indicator lights of the Raspberry Pi blinking. We will now check for the connection between the Raspberry Pi and the PC by opening the CMD and sending a ping message using the CMD command ping raspberry pi space hyphen 4. Once on a successful ping, we will be able to see the Ethernet IP address. Now copy this IP address and paste it in putty. You will be asked for confirmation for the connection. On confirmation, you will be able to see a screen like this. Enter pi as the username and raspberry as the password. You will now land into the terminal of the Raspbian OS. So now let's connect to the Wi-Fi network and set up the VNC viewer. Now in the terminal, type in sudo raspi-config to land into the Raspberry Pi configuration menu. We can only use the keyboard in the terminal. Select the display options first to configure the display resolution. I have selected 1920 into 1080 according to my PC display. Next, select the system options and select wireless LAN. For the first time setup, you will be asked for the country you live in. Choose the country and then enter the Wi-Fi name and password.
Now let us enable the SSH and VNC from the interface menu. Once after confirmation, exit the menu by selecting the finish button. On tunneling back to the terminal window, type ifconfig to check if you have connected to your Wi-Fi network. You will be able to see an IP address like this. Copy this IP address and paste it onto a note file. Now we will update and upgrade the Raspbian OS by typing in the command sudo apt hyphen get update. And then sudo apt get upgrade. This may take a while based on your network speed. Once done, we shall reboot the Raspberry Pi using the command sudo space reboot. Since the Pi reboots, you will receive a message like this. To reconnect back to the Pi using the terminal, repeat the same steps but paste the copied Wi-Fi IP address instead of the Ethernet IP address and you can remove the Ethernet cable. We can also work with the terminal of the Raspberry Pi. but it won't be flexible enough for a beginner. So, we will be using VNC viewer as a beginner. Now, let us set up the VNC viewer. Open the VNC viewer and select on new collection from the file menu. Now, paste the IP address that you have copied and make sure that you have no spaces given before and after the IP address. Give a name to your connection for easy access and then click on the OK button. Now double tap on the newly created connection to open. Click on continue. You will be asked for a login ID and password. Enter pi as the username and raspberry as its password. Click OK. Now you will be able to see the GUI screen of the Raspbian OS. You will be able to see a welcome screen on the first time of login. Now you can set up the basic settings for your Raspberry Pi and then you will be prompted for a software update which will be installed based on your network speed. Once done, you can restart the system and connect back to the VNC viewer. The Raspbian OS is similar to other Linux based OS. You have a various apps for different purposes. Here, we will be using Tony Python IDE for our programming purposes. We can also install other Raspberry Pi supported apps by installing them using the terminal. And also, we can use the Raspberry Pi as a typical desktop for browsing and other basic purposes. So now that we have installed all the required softwares and set up our Raspberry Pi, in the next videos, we will see how to interface different sensors with the Raspberry Pi. Thank you.